All right, here we go. We are live and in action again tonight. Uh, welcome everyone. This is Girl Scouts Carolina's Peaks to Piedmont Council. We're located in the 40 counties in Western North Carolina, and we are having our virtual Girl Scout session for tonight. So thank you all for joining in with us. Uh, as you, many of you know and follow us, we have virtual Girl Scout sessions available to you three times a week, five times, um, three times a day, five times during the week, plus a bonus episode on Saturday. So make sure that you, if you have not liked our page, make sure you do that. Make sure you follow us to get all the notifications. But we are live with you every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m., 4 p.m., and 7 p.m., with a bonus session on Saturday at 11 a.m., and some special uh, content every day of the week. Uh, uh, coming up tomorrow being Thursday, we have our campfire at 7 p.m. with um, our favorite camp staff and we have family game night on Fridays. This week we are introducing Wellness Wednesdays where we are glad to be partnering with a wonderful partner, Kellen Foundation out of the Winston-Salem area. Uh, so she will be with us tonight as we talk about uh, how to have conversations with your Girl Scouts, with your children about COVID-19 and the feelings that may come from that. So um, at this time, I want to, again, welcome everyone who is joining with us. I see all of you coming and joining with us online right now. I didn't introduce myself. My name is Crystal Taylor. I am the Troop Experience Manager. I am located, uh, my office is located in Gastonia, and I am here. Um, all Troop Experience Managers are here to make sure that your girls have a quality Troop Experience. And that means even now, when you're doing virtual Troop meetings with your Troop, we want to make sure that all of our girls are in a healthy place. Uh, with their with their emotions and their feelings as it is a difficult season right now. So we're very excited again for this hashtag Wellness Wednesday, where we are joined in with the Kellen Foundation, who is a wonderful community partner that we are so glad to have on board, especially in this season, to talk more about this. So again, welcome everyone uh, to Girl Scouts Carolina Speaks of Piedmont. I'm going to hand it over to Emily. Uh, Emily Lewis is the Outreach Coordinator with Kellen Foundation. Uh, so make sure that you guys tune in, bring all your family and your friends, hit that share button because we have amazing information that can help uh, change everyone right now as we're uh, trudging through, getting through this quarantine season. So Emily, I'm going to turn it over to you now. Awesome. Thank you so much. And hello, everyone. I hope you guys are all staying safe, staying healthy, trying to cure that boredom inside. I know you are. You guys have an awesome amount of resources from the Girl Scouts. I've heard lots about you guys. Um, so like uh, Crystal said, I am from the Kellen Foundation. Basically what we do is we deal with mental health. And some of you guys may ask what is mental health? Basically, we just wanna make sure you guys are feeling good, not only physically, but up here as well, because up here is really important and it dictates a lot of your life. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna be addressing something called kind of worried feelings or a big word called anxiety. And this anxiety seems like a really big word and can seem kind of scary, right? But it's totally normal and it's totally valid. You know, we're kind of in a strange time right now. Your parents may be all of a sudden home all the time. Your pets may see you 24 seven and they're probably wondering what is going on. And that is okay. So it's normal to have these kind of feelings and worriedness and maybe some nerves about it all. So part of the reason why people may get that worriedness or nervous feelings is because we don't really know what this coronavirus thing is. And I'm sure you guys have heard it. I'm sure, you know, you've snuck in and heard the news when your parents were watching or something like that. And that's totally fine. You guys are curious. And what we're going to do today is kind of address that question. What is coronavirus? Why are we staying inside? Why is it important we're staying inside? Why are we not going to school? You know, some of those basic questions. So first, I'm going to share my screen with you guys, and I tested this out earlier, so hopefully it works. Yes, fingers crossed. <laughs> awesome. And I have this little book called What is Coronavirus? So basically, the coronavirus will say it's a cousin of the cold and flu. Um, and this coronavirus can be kind of scary because it makes people sick, right? And no one likes to be sick. Um, the the be good thing about it is, is a lot of the time, only a small amount of people who get coronavirus may get very, very sick. Some people who get it may not even know they have it or may not even feel symptoms. Um, so 
there's a very small chance that you could even get it at this point. So the coronavirus, how has it spread, right? It can be spread through coughs, through sneezes, it can travel through air, it can be on surfaces. And as usually if you touch surfaces and touch your face, you know, that can cause a lot of germs, right? And that's with any cold and any flu and any sickness. It's just how they spread, right? So it's really important we wash our hands, we keep things we keep clean, we wipe down our surfaces, and make sure we stay extra healthy. So, so this page, what it kind of talks about is a lot of you guys may be missing things, right? You may be missing some play dates. A lot of you guys may be doing school online even. Um, and your parents may not be even going to work at this point. And that's normal. And it's okay to be a little sad that we don't get to do these things anymore. Because it's, it's disappointing, right? You want to go to school. You want to see your friends. We want to go outside and have fun. Um, that's completely normal. And it's okay to feel that way. Um, what I want to talk about is, you know, why we have to do these things. Um, a lot of you maybe heard the term of social distance. And I don't know if anyone maybe has talked about what that is for you guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of use this example that we've been using at the Kellen Foundation. And basically it's like, imagine the whole wide world is swimming in a giant pool, right? There's some really, really good swimmers. There's some okay swimmers. And there's some people who maybe just like to stay in the shallow and, sh shallow and, and, and don't wanna get too deep, right? And that's okay. But the problem is, is the lifeguards, they have to keep us safe, right? And they're having a hard time seeing who's the really good swimmers and who's maybe needs some help and who's trying to stay in the shallow end. So what we need to do is as the really good swimmers, we need to leave the pool, right? Because this allows all the lifeguards to see all those people who still need help. So we're going to sit on the sidelines and stay healthy and we'll have the lifeguards go in and help everyone else who may need a little bit more help than we do. So to kind of relate that back to what we're doing is, we are the people who may be really, really good swimmers. And that's not saying we can't get sick because we can always get sick. It's a, it's a common thing. But by us removing ourselves from the pool and washing our hands and staying home from school and staying you know, home from stores and parks and play dates, we are allowing everyone else to stay healthy and allowing those who may need help, like your neighbors or even teachers, your grandparents and friends, you're allowing them to have the chance to also stay healthy and to also get that help from those lifeguards. So really you guys are just being great superheroes by staying inside. And that's something that's really special. You guys are keeping everyone healthy by staying inside and being responsible and being those leaders. So I'm gonna stop sharing. Awesome, hopefully I'm back. <laughs> so awesome. So, you know, sometimes a lot of you guys may have not known that. And that's okay. And sometimes not knowing those things or not knowing what we deal with can cause those worried feelings. And sometimes it becomes too much and we don't know how to handle that. So the next thing I kind of want to talk about is how do we handle this, right? So we know what it is now. We know that, you know, we obviously can protect ourselves. We can stay, you know, help stay inside and wash our hands and clean everything. I'm sure your parents will love that. But we can also have some games we can play to calm ourselves down. So I hope you guys are in a really good room for this game because I'm looking around and I don't even know how I'm gonna play this game. So this is called the ABC game. And this is a really good game if you feel like all your thoughts are just racing around like a big tornado and you don't know what to do anymore. And maybe you're just feeling overwhelmed and Honestly, maybe you just want a break from schoolwork or something, and that's okay. So this game's gonna kind of help with that. It's gonna help us, you know, we call it grounding. We're gonna look at our surroundings and kind of be in tone with our environment, and it's gonna calm ourselves down, and we're gonna have a lot of fun while doing it. So the first thing I have to make sure, I hope you guys all know your ABCs, right? I'm sure you guys are, you guys, I bet you're super smart. So we all know our ABCs. So I want you guys to look around the room. I'm already looking around now and I know I'm gonna lose this game, is that you have to find something that starts with an A. So I'm looking now, oof, I may lose this right now. 
Find something that begins with the letter A. A letter A. I see something with an apple on it. So I'm going to just do that. It's a video with an apple on it. So I'm taking that one. And so once you find something in the room with the letter A, we're going to find something with the letter B. Crystal, did you find anything with the letter A? I didn't. Well, I got alarm on my phone. Does that count? <laughs> Perfect. We can be creative with it. So okay. And now we're going to go to the letter B. Can anyone find anything with the letter B? I have a bottle. Have a bottle? I have a box. I have a box in my corner from an unpacked TV. <laughs> awesome. And, and you have to go find something for each letter of the alphabet. Another thing you can do is sometimes when we have, you know, these anxious feelings or thoughts, sometimes you just need to let out some energy. You know, sometimes a lot of people either like tap their pencil or you, sometimes you see people wiggling their pencil. I'm a big clicker of my pencil or my pen. I know it's not the greatest thing in class, but I'm a big clicker of my pen when I'm anxious. But those are all normal things. So if you want to bring movement to this game, we can have a race to see who can touch something in the room with the letter that I call out. So. Are we ready? Ready. Parents, you may want to watch out because I hope these kids are racing. <laughs> okay, so. I need you guys to find something that starts with the letter A. Ready, go. Wait, wait, what letter did you say, A? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I just cheated. I said the letter just for me. <laughs> N. Find something for <laughs> find something with the letter N. I raced and N. found my notebook that I'm using for school. Right? Ooh, notebook is good. Hmm? I have a notebook on my desk. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have a bunch of notebooks laying around someplace. I know you guys are all learning hard. Let's just found another one. <laughs> Can we do another letter? Wait, wait, let me pick the letter. I'm okay. not going to see what's in my room. I am going to pick the letter S. Ooh. Ooh. Shirt. Oh, shirt. Oh, that's a good one. Shirt. <laughs> shirt. I got it. I really had nothing in this room. I picked a terrible room. <laughs> that was a good answer. As I'm looking around, I'm like, shirt is a really good answer. And shorts, I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> shorts work too. Perfect. Awesome. So even just games like that, you can add fun. And can you guys even remember what we were talking about? We were talking about anxiety and anxious thoughts. And we completely left that to play a fun game. And that's kind of sometimes what we need to do. Sometimes we need to take those breaks and just calm ourselves down a little bit of fun and then come back and address, you know, what we were feeling, why we were feeling like this. So it's good to build in games like that. And like I said, you can do you can do an erase against your parents. You can do it erase against your sibling. If you're by yourself and you just want something to do, time yourself on a stopwatch or your phone or count whatever you want to do and see how fast you can do it and try to beat yourself every single letter. <laughs> so that's something fun to do. You know, definitely be entertained. <laughs> Ooh, Donna Anderson said shoe was a response for her for the S. That's a good answer too. Yeah, I didn't think about shoe. <laughs> Seems a good way to be creative because I had, I think I'm barefoot right now. So <laughs> uh, we love these only top up meetings, really. <laughs> awesome. So another game we can play is called Stomp, Stomp, Breathe. And this one's a little bit more calm. And I like doing this one maybe like before bedtime after maybe you just had a really long day. A lot of things have happened. You just feel overwhelmed. It's just one of those days, you know, just felt like you're just, ugh. And sometimes our thoughts get so crazy, they start to overwhelm us. And we don't know how to deal with each one of those thoughts at once, right? So this game's going to help us, I'm going to say, blow away these thoughts. So... I want everyone to think of maybe something they're nervous about. Maybe something, you know, a big change that has happened that you're not really sure how you're gonna do. I know for me, I'm doing classes online and that's kind of scary. So I think my thought right now is, you know, just online school, getting it all done in a good fashion and well, and that can be a lot. It's a lot of discipline. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna blow this away. And so the best way to ground yourself is using all of your senses. Um, so what we're going to do is, since you can't see my feet, I'm going to use my hands. I'm going to pound the table. 
And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go pound, pound, you're gonna take a deep breath, deep breath in and a deep breath out. And when you blow out, I want you to blow so hard, you're gonna send that worry away. You're gonna blow it completely away from you out of this room, all the way seven states away, I don't know, to Canada, wherever you wanna send it, you're blowing it so far away from you, it's gonna be like a weight lifted off your shoulders. So okay. I want everyone in their head to think of one of something they're kind of nervous about, something they're anxious about. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. So ready, we're gonna go stop, stop, and ready, and blow the thought away. Awesome. Ready? I want you guys to think of some one, another one. What's something else that maybe you're worried about this week? Um, maybe you're worried about your parents. Maybe you're seeing them being a little stressed out and that's normal, but your kids, you love your parents. You want them to be taken care of, right? So we can blow worries like that away, right? So right, we're gonna do it again. Ready? Stomp, stomp. And that worry is all far away. That's not near us. And if you guys do this, even just for five minutes before bedtime, you're actually gonna sleep better at night because you're calming down your body. You're starting to relax. You're slowing down your breathing and you'll actually be able to possibly, don't quote me on this, fall asleep faster is the scientific version of what I've learned. <laughs> but yeah, so just these two games are two different ways. One gets you up and moving and the other one calms you down. And you can use both of them, you can just use one of them, and you can use them in different ways throughout your day. So any games you wanna play, um, deep breathing, this is all stuff that helps calm that down, that weariness and you know that big word anxiety, and helps with that and settles it down. And then my kind of last message is, after you guys play these games, you guys need to talk about this, right? Um, what I like to use an example is like a bottle of soda. When you shake up a bottle of soda and the cap is on and you try to take that cap off, it's going to go because of all the carbonation inside. And sometimes that can happen with people. If you put all your feelings in this bottle and you don't deal with any of that and you don't express it or talk about it or even let it out and simply letting it out could be in these games too. Your bottle's going to go and it's going to make a mess. So just by making sure after these games, we talk about our feelings, you know, why are we worried? You know, talk to your parents about it. Talk to your troop leaders about it. Um, talk to people you trust. Talk to your friends. These are all great outlets to you guys to talk about your feelings and to address them. Because it's, it's so normal to feel this way at this time. There's so many changes happening. I guarantee you everyone is feeling like this. And it's okay. This is... What, I mean, what's going on, right? <laughs> but it's okay. And we're going to all get through this. And by using these tools and these tips and, you know, even just taking a wellness Wednesday out of the week to really, you know, check in with yourself is really going to help you guys in the long run. So that is kind of all I have for you guys today. That was um, fantastic. Well, thank you, Chris. <laughs> um, if you guys need anything else, I think um, Aaron was kind enough to type in our website and we have a whole page of COVID resources if you need anything more in depth from what we talked about and we will be here every Wednesday and we'll have some special guests coming with you um, some special topics parents there's gonna be some stuff for you as well as what we talked about and it's gonna be a great it's gonna be a great day to just check in with ourselves breathe and just all get through this together because we can do yeah. it Thank you so much, Emily. Again, look in our chat log just now. Aaron has posted our council information if you have any questions as a troop leader. But if you're looking for uh, someone else, um, Kellen Foundation has clinicians, correct, on hand to help answer questions. Can you talk a little bit about what the Kellen Foundation does for folks right now in this season? Yes, so the Kellen Foundation has multiple programs right now. Um, one of, uh, basically, the mission of the Kellen Foundation is to build resilient families and communities. And by doing this, we really believe that focusing on mental health and getting through those experiences and talking about our feelings um, drives those resilient and strong families and communities. Um, so we do a lot of mental health. We do therapy. We do 
um, advocacy for those in our community who may need that. Um, and we also do this thing called uh, Kellen Kids where we do community service. So that's where Crystal and I met because we figured, well, everyone needs some community service stuff, right? <laughs> so that's something that we do. And um, my special guests will actually be clinicians coming to talk to you guys. Um, they can give you literally a certified license explanation for a lot of the stuff we are dealing with. And that's where all my resources came from. They were very kind to send me a lot of stuff. So yes. yeah. <laughs> thank you again so much, Emily, for this. Again, uh, we have made a commitment and a promise between Kellen Foundation and Girl Scouts Carolina's Peak to Piedmont Council that our Wednesday's 7 p.m. session will be in partnership together uh, to support not only our girls, but next week, uh, spoiler alert, will be for adults. So adults join in next Wednesday. Uh, let the kids go play the ABC game for a bit or <laughs> uh, playing the stomp, stomp, breathe exercise. But next Wednesday, we have designed it just for the adults. So uh, join us every Wednesday. We'll rotate between resources for girls, resources for adults. Uh, so don't forget to like us, follow us, but also go ahead and go to Kellen Foundation's Facebook page, their website. They have tons of Facebook live sessions that they're doing as well to help support any and everyone in this season. Uh, we're very much uh, in support of everyone right now to make sure that you have what you need right now um, in this season. And even beyond this, we plan to continue to offer more uh, resources to our troop leaders, our girls, our members to ensure that we look at all parts of the Girl Scout. It's all about earning badges, but also making sure that we're making the world a better place by making sure all of our girls are healthy and our volunteers are healthy. Uh, so we're thankful again for Emily being here. Thank you all for joining us, Girl Scouts Carolina's Peaks to Piedmont Council, uh, where we have Facebook live session, virtual Girl Scouts, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 11 a.m., 4 p.m., 7 p.m., as well as a bonus segment on Saturday at 11 a.m. So join us for any of those and uh, check out our virtual Girl Scouts for those new Girl Scouts. Um, if you're interested in joining right now, but there's no troops meeting, we are here to connect you with that as well. Go to www.beagirlscout.org and we will get you connected there. And if you're interested in summer camp, the best therapy for me right now is nature therapy. Visit our website, www.camp like a girl. We have tons of camp sessions. We are so excited that when we get uh, the outdoors opens up again to immediately run to our closest Girl Scout camp and get that Girl Scout therapy with our sisters and Girl Scouts, all of our beautiful camps and everything else that we're gonna have to provide. So don't worry, Girl Scouts is not canceled. Please stay <laughs> tuned for lots of great details coming up, lots of great things coming up in the next couple of weeks. But the first step for you is to make sure you're following our Facebook page. Um, these videos are all now on YouTube as well right now. So go to YouTube, see all of these videos that are being archived and go to our website as well. We will be having tons of resources on our website. But again, Emily, thank you so much for your willingness from Kellen Foundation to join with us. Um, I can't wait to see all of you again next week. Emily, can't wait to see your special guest next Wednesday. Again, everyone, love you, mean it. See ya. <laughs>